Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire, and it's Thursday, so that means Mojang released a new snapshot. And in this snapshot, we finally have the ability to get a redstone output from command blocks using the new test4 command. The test4 command checks for players, so you can tell if someone is on a server, or in your single player world, but that would be a little useless. So, because I'm on my world, it gave a redstone output through the comparator. If I change it to something else, it gives no output. This may seem a little bit useless at first, but then you can also use it for player stand-ins like at P. So using this, we can check for lots of things, including game mode, range, XP level, and coordinates. All of these use the test4 command, some player argument, and whatever you need to check for in brackets. For this I have the coordinates, the first is x, the second is y, the third is z, and the fourth is the range from that coordinate. XP, you already saw. The L means mi maximum level and the LM means minimum level. So if you just have maximum level of 4 and I am at level 0, it will still give Um, oops, forgot to press enter. Oh, oh, it's because I'm in survival mode. Okay. I'll just have to change this. It'll still give a redstone output. But then if I change this to LM, it doesn't because I need at least a level of 4. The range is just R equals the game mode, that's just M, and these can be used in any combination. So you can use all of these, just some of these, or whatever you want. And I think this would be really useful in making maps because otherwise, uh, as I've shown in my other video, Command Block Adder, in order to get a redstone output from command blocks, you actually have to teleport that player to a pressure plate. And then you would have to, if you wanted the player to stay in the same place, then you would have to figure out where the player was and then teleport them back there. Uh, there is actually a way you can do this, as I showed in my video, Six Uses for Command Blocks, but it's much more troublesome than this, and I think this is really cool. So that's all for now, just a short little video, but I hope you like this new update because the redstone update is looking pretty cool by my standards. But other than that, uh, I guess that's it, so I'll see you next time.